Assalamu alaikum everybody today i am going to discuss about lord riley and his achievement in the field of physics so starting from his biography uh, he was a physicist of 19th century and uh, his major achievement was scattering and uh, he got nobel prize on it he also discovered the inert gases that is argon which is used in the light bulbs so he also explained why the sky is blue and why the sunset is red also he discussed about the scattering particles in the atmosphere so further we discuss uh, about uh, scattering so let's start um, from his uh, law what uh, which what he describes in his law relay scattering result from the electric polarizability of the particles the oscillation electric field of the light wave waves acts on the charges within a particle causing them to move at the same frequency the particles therefore become a large radiation dipole whose radiation we see are scattered light the particles may be individual atom or molecules it can occur when light travels through transparent so solids and liquids but is most uh, prominently seen in the gases relay scattering of sunlight in earth atmosphere causes diffuse sky radiation which uh, is which uh, is the reason for the blue color of the daylight and twilight sky as well as the yellowish to reddish uh, however of the low sun sunlight is also subject to raman uh, scattering which changes the rotational state of the molecules and give rise to a polarization effect he also describe about the blue light and also discuss about the electromagnetic waves but he uh, his major work was done in the field of scattering he also mentioned a uh, why the uh, why this uh, color of sky is blue and what is the cause behind it so the strong he said that the strong wavelength depend uh, of the scattering means the shorter wavelength are scattered more strongly than the longer wavelength his result in the indirect blue light coming from all region of the sky relay scattering is a good approximation of the manner in which light scattering occur within a various media for which scattering particles have a small size the portion of the beam of light coming from the sun scatters of molecules of gas and other small particles in the atmosphere here relay scattering uh, primarily occurs through sunlight's interactions which randomly locate air molecules it is the scattered light that gives the surrounding sky its brightness and its color as previously stated relay scattering is inversely proportional to the fourth power of the wavelength so that the shorter wavelength violet and blue light will scatter more than the longer wavelength however the sun likes any star has its own spectrum and as so and so in the scattering formula is not constant but falls away in the violet in addition the oxygen in the atmosphere uh, and the earth atmosphere absorb wavelength at the edge of the ultraviolet region of the spectrum the result color which appears like a pale blue actually is a mixture of all the scattered uh, colors mainly blue and green Conver uh, conversely gla glancing toward the sun the color that were not scattered away the longer wavelengths such as red and the yellow light are directly invisible uh, giving the sun itself a slightly yellowish hue viewed from space however the sky is black and sun is white some of the scattering can also be uh, from uh, sulfate particles for years after large plane eruption the blue cast of the sky is notably brightened by the persistent sulfate load of the atmospheric gases so further he discussed about the scattering actions in the field of uh, uh, optical fiber in uh, and in uh, porous materials so starting from uh, so let's start uh, yeah uh, what he said in uh, optical fibers relay scattering is an important component of scattering of optical signals in optical fibers silica uh, silica fibers are glasses disordered material which microscopic very <laughs> of density and refractive index this gives rise to energy losses due to the scattering light and in porous material
the stronger con con contrast in refractive index between pores and the solid part of center uh, centered aluminia result in very strong scattering with light completely changing direction each five micrometers on average so uh, this is all he done <laughs> on skatering and he get Nobel Prize on it in uh, 1871. Thank you for listening. Allah Hafiz.